This is a movie showing a continuous dynamic trajectory of the protein cell splicing chemical reaction carried out by the MTU recaine team in Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The reaction consists of a protein sequence called the intine shown in transparent red separating from the protein sequence that it is inserted in called the extine shown in blue and green while joining the initially separate extine sequences together. The extine on the N-terminal side of the intine or the N-extine is shown in blue while the extine on the C-terminal side of the intine or the C-extine is shown in green. Important catalytic residues are shown in stick form. The first step is the nucleophilic attack by the cysteine at position 1 of the intine onto the neighboring backbone carbonyl carbon. This is the artificially stabilized transition state for the N-terminal cleavage step. Cleavage of the peptide bond resulting in N-terminal cleavage then transfers the n extine onto the cysteine side chain. The next step is nucleophilic attack by the cysteine at the first position of the c extine onto the same carbonyl carbon. This is the artificially stabilized transition state of this transesterification reaction step. Cleavage of the carbon sulfur bond with the first cysteine results in transfer of the n extine onto the cysteine side chain of the first residue of the c extine, resulting in a branched intermediate. The next step is the cyclization of the asparagine residue that is the last residue on the C-terminal side of the intine. This occurs by attack of the backbone carbonyl by the side chain nitrogen of the asparagine residue. This is the artificially stabilized transition state of the asparagine cyclization step. Cleavage of the peptide bond between the asparagine residue and the c extine completes the splicing reaction resulting in covalent separation of the intine from a spliced extine, leaving behind a succinamide form of the asparagine residue. The final step of transfer of the c extine from the cysteine side chain to the backbone of the n extine to form a complete peptide backbone for the extine is not shown here. This movie shows the first three-dimensional dynamic depiction of a class 1 type intine splicing reaction. <laughs>